here we are with the second book that I have read in 2023, The Architect's Apprentice, 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 The Architect's Apprentice by Elif Shafak. Um, I have cried with this book. I have laughed with this book. It takes you back to Istanbul in uh, the 1400s, in the 1500s. It takes you to the building of these beautiful mosques and the stories of all the people, big and small, um, the kings, the rulers, the sultan, um, the palaces, and the people who are the slaves and the town people. You get to stand in between them. You get to see their lives as a third person. You get to learn that living in a palace or being uh, from the royal family was not really an easy task. There was so much of, of politics and game playing and things that used to happen. I think it, it opened my eyes to a new realm that I never thought uh, I would like to be a part of. Um, all in all, it holds this beautiful story of a mahout and an elephant, a pet and its lover. And in this case, a white elephant, like uh, it's shown in the cover. There you go. And um, if I ever want to read about love and heartbreak and hopes and being simple really in your heart and in your head i'd like to revisit the book but i must tell you you have to have courage to read this one you have to want to go through the emotions of of pain and separation and being tricked and robbed and dodged this book was very special for me because um it talks about an imprint just an apprentice to uh, to this very sweet and loving master. I almost fell in the love in fell in love with the master myself through this book. Uh, here's a shout out going to Elif Shafak for painting a beautiful word inside these. Um, I tell you how many pages, four hundred and fifty odd pages, and thank you for this journey. Well, if you're looking for a love story, uh, a period love story, or even a high profile period a drama, that's the book to go to. Catch you soon.